They better not touch that score. I'm not gonna let them do it. That's right, I'm the Night Mutilator. Mutilator? Night Mutilator here. And it's Friday night. How was that for you? We're here to play video games again, okay? I So I brought this game out. I think I might have played it once. Uh, let's just adjust this a little bit. Okay, yeah. So I think I might have played this just a, just a tad bit during the coronavirus. Which now sounds like a pretty good movie. But it was a disease, if you didn't know about it. But anyways, I wanted to play this. I was trying to figure out which scary game I was going to play tonight. And this came up because it is terrifying. Um, and also because uh, they just found Julian Sands. I think it was a week and a half or two weeks ago. They finally found him. He's passed away because he got lost in the mountains up in California on Mount Baldy. But I remember back in the day uh, watching this movie and one viewing in particular was really weird. The Night Mutilator in previous form worked at a cinnamon restaurant, Cinnamon Bun. Just like um, if you watch Better Call Saul, it's a very similar situation, Cinnabon. I was working there and we had a party. And at this party, uh, the movie that we put on for everybody to watch was Warlock, of course. And uh, it's because it's terrifying. It's got lightning and that guy, Julian Sands, is in it. So, there's a lot of reasons to play this. Um, it is scary and it is fun, I think. I can't remember. But let's try it. There's a password. That's going to be hard to remember. Okay, can we play this now already? Going on. Okay. Good animation, you know. Very nice. Very believable. Oh, there he was. And I just fell in the water. Great. There he is. Julian Sands right here. That's him. Lightning striking. You can see his face. Pretty freaky so far. I think I lost or something. Um, but whatever. Let's do it again. Did I lose? I think I did. That was very strange. Um, you don't want to fall in the water at the beginning because then I guess you die. See, there he is. There's Julian Sands. Let's tell me what to do. And I just fell in the water because it didn't jump. Great. Very good animation. Very believable. Okay, now what? Let's try that again, I guess. That's the button I pressed to jump over that crap. Oh my gosh. This time I'm just going to do this. Okay, I got him. Bats. Scary bats. There's a scary storm outside at the same time as playing this, so you have that to look forward to. The other day, I live over here in Denver, Colorado country. Um, the other day, there was a tornado on the top of uh, Pikes Peak. I'm sure you've heard of Pikes Peak. It's 
So that's a strange occurrence, isn't it? That just goes to show you, pin, or, uh, pinballs <laughs> are not tornadoes, and tornadoes can happen anywhere. This is pretty frightening. What are these bubbling cauldrons? What's that guy doing? I do not remember anything of like this in the movie. Pretty freaky though. I think those are zombie guys. What do you guys think? Are you guys getting crazy or? Let me pause it real quick. Look at that. Look at the, his status picture up there. Let me get in here. I just want to see if you guys are having fun getting crazy. I bet you are getting pretty crazy so far. It seems like there's a lot of people here. So that's good news. Uh, I get so excited to do these, and then, you know, it's like, uh, maybe if I said there was going to be cute kittens, uh, it's worth watching. But regardless, we're not making it for you viewers that are streaming. We're watching this. We're making this for you viewers that have historical purposes. Um, pretty scary game so far. I don't know. What the heck? How do you pick that up? Oh, great. How do you pick this up? Hold on. We gotta get there. How do I get that? Give me it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I see what it is. Weird. Huh. Those guys turn into zombies when you hit them. They're first alive, and then they turn into zombies. What is this? Give me it. I'll take it. Whoa. What did that do? Ooh. Oh, it's like a weapon. It's like a phantasm ball. What is this doing now? Cool. Oh my god. Okay. Can I get, pick this up? What the hell? What are these bubbling cauldrons for? So what's your fondest memory of being scared while playing a game? Like, what's the scariest game? What do you think is the scary... You gotta think about this, because Julian Sands is watching this. What is the scariest game that you ever have seen in your life? They start you all the way over every time. What is it, one level? I guess that's what the password's for, but geez. That's a little ridiculous. A lot of times you gotta wonder, like, what would, um, what would, uh, Spaghetti do? Uh, what would he do? Because I know a guy that looks just like Spaghetti. Uh, he is hot. And he's famous. And he won't tell you his age, because he's so famous. Because that's what is the most important thing in life, is being a famous person. But anyways, enough about Spaghetti. He likes SpaghettiOs. Okay, we got in. Kill him. It's probably better just not to kill him and let him be. See? Nope. Whoa. I do like the gore effects. The, the animation's good, you know? It's very nice. I can see this could be a good game, but it's confusing. Just like all games in the past, there is no story, really. You just gotta go and kill everything. And find stuff. Old games, that's all they did. Kill stuff, find stuff, get some points, maybe. What do you do with this? I don't know what that does. Confused. Get over here.
So tell me a story, if you can. If you can't, let me tell you a story. Uh... I am a nice little boy. But if you try to beat my scores, I'm going to beat you up. You know what I mean? And that, when I say beat you up, I'm not actually going to beat you up. I'm just going to get scared. And I don't want that to happen. Jump over there. There we go. I always have to remember that old games, it's not like you have like some big thing you gotta figure out ever. You just gotta collect stuff and get points and get past the level and that's it. Pretty rad. Oh my gosh. I tell you what. It's a scary time. Uh, it's middle of July in this neck of the woods. Surfy's trying to jump up on the couch but can't. Now she can. There she goes. Uh, but anyways, I know that you guys were wondering, uh, let me press pause for a second, just because I'm such a sweet young lad. I was wanting to show you some new product that the Night Mutilator has been working on. Sitting back here. Okay, here's one right here. Look at that, it's a little grave. Do you see it? Can you see it? Look at that. But what's fun about this is that this is for an this is an incense holder, so it holds an incense stick right here, and then the ashes come here, and that's thanks to my friend Eddie from Geneseer. He uh, recommended this edition, so I did it. So I'm gonna make a bunch of these. This is sixth scale. Uh, grave. Serpent seems to be having fun back there. Uh, I made a whole, I'm making a whole cemetery. So uh, there's even a crypt. Look at that. That's a crypt. And, you know, if you went in there, you would go down the stairs. But there's a, uh, incense holder right here. There's a little hole. And there's actually a second one down here. So you can hold it there. Very nice. And then there's another one right here. Uh, pretty scary too. Uh, what's fun is that you can make them scary and corroded. And this says, here lies Ryan Poliski. That's the guy who lives here with the Night Mutilator. And he works on stuff for Bungie right now. Come on. But, uh, isn't that cool? He worked on the Halloween game. And he worked on that. So if you're wondering, where is this video game knowledge coming from? It's from the deep seed of the uh, Ryan Poliski, who's dead in this very uh, in this very uh, gravestone tombstone that has an incense holder back right there in the front. And what's nice is it has an incense holder right on the top, so you can put your incense stick in there. Get funky and then you have yourself one heck of a fun day let me go see if i have one more i'll show you i think i have one more to show you i know that you're so intent on seeing it there's two actually i got two more let me show you they're over here on my frenzy cocktail table game it does look like there's gonna be tornadoes outside it's a little scary out there uh but here's another one Okay, little uh, little tombstone, and this has a uh, incense holder here, 
and it ha has an incense holder up yonder. Okay, so there's that. And this was actually the first one that was made. Um, I'm just getting some off of it. Hold on. But this was the first one that was made, uh, as you can see. And it has a incense holder right there. So you can put it like this, and then the incense goes up, and it falls into there. Or it's got one up on top. So I'm making these all to be incense holders, but they're also all one six scale grave uh, so I can do a video through it. You know, so I'm trying to build some miniature set pieces for this upcoming bloodshed death bath movie that's called Death Witch. Just in case you missed it, because I see that there's some comments. Oh. Oh. She was going video. You were going video game on that, Slurpee? Good job. Look how excited she is that you noticed that. I told her to go video game. It, just in case you missed it, here's the uh, the this night mutilator. And yes, you can turn it upside down, and that's not going to fall. It's in there permanent. And it has an incense holder there. It has one on the top of there. That's my grave, and I'm not even dead. Or am I? So I don't know if you boys and girls are video games. So if he's going to go video game on that again, this is worth the money and the time to watch this. No, nope, she's just having fun with it, but she will probably go video game on it. Whoa, what is that icon you sent me? Slappy is humping? Is that what you mean? She was video gaming. That's what gamers do. Get out of here, Surfing. Get that out of here. It's disgusting. Jeez. So that's a good thing to have happening while you're talking about stuff. Just in case you're wondering. But we were playing this game. Did you want to see? Look at the animation in this game. This has got some good animation in it. Look at him. And this is Warlock. And it's got Julian Sands who they just found uh, perished over the winter on Mount Baldy. And he was one of my favorite actors because he was in this movie and he was in Boxing Helena, which was the one I loved. Those are the two I liked. I know he's in a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but those two were the ones that I liked. Oh, no. Oh, I survived. Look at these guys. They're all turning into Julian Sands in memory of him. They're like, it's like a Julian Sands scary zombie, I think. Look at that bubbling cauldron. So what do you think? Like, what, do you have any questions? Are you nervous? Uh, I am uh, a boy. And I will answer your questions, but I am scared, too. And there's a lot of freaky stuff out there. And I want you guys to take your pants off, and I just want you to think about it for a little while. All of you. Look at that. I picked that up, whatever it was. Isn't that cool? This is good game. This is, like, a good story so far. Games nowadays don't have a lick on the story of this so far. Because this is... Makes perfect sense. So far. I mean, I really like this story. Do 
Did you guys see there's no score on the screen and I'm still playing this crap? It's just because of Julian Sands. There's no score. Where the hell is the score at? You know? Look at that scary face though up in the... His face gets bloodier as you get scary. That's your life meter. So think about that. Think that about that being your life meter. You know, if you're thinking about making a life meter, all you have to do is have a bunch of keyframes. And every time you get hit, it goes down the keyframe one. And at the very end, it goes to a game over screen. That's, I just taught you some uh, coding right there. That's how you code that. So if you have a life meter, just have it increment one frame down a keyframe. And then once it gets to 10 or whatever number you want, tell it to go to and play end of game. And then make an end of game movie and then you go in there and that's all it is. That's all games are. Incremental everything. Right, Justin? Come on, back me up here. Somebody back me up here. You know, I'm trying to impress this bungee company, man. It is like the Michael Jackson game. That's because every single game in this era was this. That's why they didn't have to have any stories or anything. Every game was just run around, shoot and collect points, and beat the game. Look at this. This is Julian Sands right here. That's the guy they just found on Mount Baldy. Uh, he, was, he was missing since January. And uh, they couldn't find him, but they knew he went up there, and they he had a you know phone and everything, but they couldn't find him. And uh, they just recently found him. So wherever he was, it must have been a really weird spot. Oh great! I just fell in the black lagoon. The, does the audio sound okay to you guys tonight? Because I don't want to have any fun. This game is impressing you. It does have really good animation. I'm just going to say. Because, you know, I'm an animator. And you're an animator. And Spaghetti is an, an animator. And uh, Spaghetti's also a filmmaker. Spaghetti is also a famous person, and Spaghetti is hot. I just fell again. But at least that's the best part of this game is this end animation, right? What do you think? 6 out of 10? And the 10 out of 10? 30 out of 4? <sighs> what would you give it? I give this game a 30 out of 4. And that's being very, very generous. Why did I even do that part? That's the story. So see, all these games have like these stories that take like 3 hours to read before you finally play it. Have you played New Final Fantasy? It's like 90% story. It's like 10% of actually playing something. And it's like 90% story. I can't stand that. I just don't, I can't do it. I don't want to sit there and read a story or watch a story unfold for two and a half years. Unless it's a Destiny story and then I'll watch the whole damn thing. Here, I just got to get everything. Now, there's a couple that really do it well. Like, Destiny does it well. Um, and that's not just being a not nice guy. Um, I think that they did a good job with the Walking Dead Telltale series. It's one of the best game stories. And Fallout 3, one of the best game stories ever. What's your favorite game story? Tell me in your comments. Please? Kenan, are you still there? Please tell me in your comments what is your favorite gamey story? 
Of all gamey story, which one is your favorite? Oh, great. Here comes Julian again. Man, they made this game hard as hell. Whew. Let me see what you said. You can't think of anything? Come on, waste not want green think. Think of one story that makes you feel wonderful and is super gamey. It can be something as simple as like, you know, uh, Pac-Man, the ghost, he's in a haunted place and he needs to eat. And he finds breadcrumbs that lead around the place with the ghosts with the mostest will be eaten when he's no longer hungry. And that's the story of Pac-Man, in a nutshell. Your favorite game memory was when I watched the BSDB Bloodshed Death Bath stream and Mr. Mutilator got high scores. That is a pretty good story. It's not a very long story though. And sometimes length counts. Even if it's girth. So are you guys having fun yet? Or is it a lot of people here getting pretty nasty? Cause I just want to get a little bit more out of you. You know, I want to see what you like, what you enjoy, uh, what you need. This is, this is Warlock. Uh, I was just posing in case you wanted to take a picture. Here's the instruction manual. Now that's a nice instruction manual. Now I wanted to tell you guys something since you were just asking me about instruction manuals. Um, I just got this game out. Okay, Soul Dies, Soul Dies, right? Well, I was looking online and I found out the manual is worth $80. People are spending $80 to get the manual for this game. I've got it. Okay? So I'm rich. And I'm not going to have to work anymore just because I could just sell this. And I would be... Well, kid, you, you could buy anything with that amount of money. You could take that money and buy anything you need. And it has a cartridge too. See? So I'm gonna play this soon, but it's not scary. I don't wanna play it on here. It's too, too minimalistic in genre. It's just about spaceships shooting and having fun and just getting it on on the dance floor. But the other game I wanted to show you, because this is a show and tell class, is which I realize that's what social media is. It's just show and tell class. Is I want to play this one, the Atari game, Aka Ara. It's from the same guy who made Yar's Revenge. So it's like a new version of a Yar's Revenge kind of idea. But this is like the limited run games version of it. So it's a limited edition. And since I'm still in um, this kind of exploratory, uh, just show and tell, uh, I just want to show you the other game that I have that I still haven't opened yet. And that would be Final Fantasy uh, Re Pixel Remastered Collection. Okay? I gotta see that. Because that's gonna be fun. It's going to be good. 
Not as good as Warlock, because the Warlock animations are better than any animation I've ever seen, except for on Halloween Pinball Machine, which has way better animations than that. Way better. But let's see if you have any questions. Seems like you do. Yeah. Is what somebody said, name, waste, not want, green. I need a question, because I don't do these Q&A sessions without questions first. So please hurry up and tell me, ask me something. I don't care what it is. You could ask me, where, where are you? Here, I'll just ask you the question for you. Where are you with Death Witch movie? Is this just vaporware? Because, you know, I'm known to never finish anything. So I'm not going to finish it. Even though I finished like 13, 14 of these terrible movies. I am not doing it. No, I am. We almost have the cast fully assembled. Okay, it's been done. We've got almost every single character except for the main character. And one witch. So one of the witches... And one of the and the main character need to get cast. We have locations we can start shooting, which we're gonna do in August. And Death Witch is coming together. You don't know what it's about, and you should never know. But you will know when you have to watch it because it's gonna be the best movie you ever seen in your life. And I can guarantee that. Because I'm a badass and I know how to party. And, uh, you know what I mean? Let me see if you have a question. <laughs> oh, good. You are on the edge of your seat. Well, I'm glad you guys joined. Because it's been a sick time. And you guys really helped me get through a lot tonight. Because I was having an emotional wreck of a day. So you helped me get through this day. Fair and square. We played some Warlock. You learned some stuff about incense and graves. Um, you know about Death Witch now. And you can go on with your daily lives, cleaning crap, cleaning whatever, driving car, sing. It's up to you. It's totally your call. If you want to fart on me, I'll take it. And I don't care about it anymore. But thanks for joining the Night Mutilator for another session of some scary horror games. Wow, that was quite quite a dream come true. I give that game a 10 out of 10. Not very good. Good animation. Too hard. 10 out of 10. Perfect game. Love it or leave it. And thanks again. You guys are fat ass. They better not touch that score. I'm not gonna let them do it. That's right, I'm the Night Mutilator. Mutilator?